These are the top 10 worst punishments a person could receive in the Aztec Empire. Number 10. Slavery Despite what exotically colored haired refrigerator warriors will tell you, it was not just white people that did slavery because just like a girl from Miami, everybody has done it. For those who committed lesser crimes like theft or not being able to pay back their debts, slavery was often the go-to punishment. Criminals were sold into slavery with their lives and labor controlled by a master. While slaves had some rights and could work their way out of servitude, this punishment effectively marked the individual as a criminal, where their fate depended heavily on the goodwill or lack thereof their master. Haha, <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. We got him. Number 9. Blinding one of my biggest personal fears is going blind, and that really sucks considering I can't even see the first letter on the Snellen chart. Anyway, blinding was a punishment for those who insulted the emperor or high-ranking priest, where they had their eyes gouged out or damaged with sharp tools. This permanent and disabling punishment served as a symbolic way of stripping the individual of their ability to see or act in society. It not only punished the criminal for their grave disrespect, but also ensured that they would be dependent on others for the rest of their life, marking them visibly <laughs> as a violator of sacred or societal norms. The king's new laws suck, man. Ah, oh, sh**. Number 8. Dismemberment For repeated theft or stealing from sacred places, dismemberment was the most common punishment where thieves had their hands or feet cut off, permanently crippling them and marking them as a criminal. In extreme cases, more severe forms of dismemberment were carried out, with limbs being removed piece by piece. This punishment not only served as a direct consequence for stealing, but they also just really wanted to make sure the criminal didn't steal ever again. You didn't learn your lesson, huh? What do you mean? <laughs> Number 7. Beheading Crimes like treason, desertion from battle, or severe offenses against the emperor were often met with beheading, which was a swift but highly symbolic execution. Loyalty was crucial in Aztec society, especially among warriors, and betrayal or failure in duty could lead to immediate public execution by decapitation where their heads were sometimes displayed as a warning to others since after the public execution they would display the severed head as a reminder to the people that they really didn't tolerate disloyalty and the empire was ready to let anybody who f**ks around find out ocelotl you should love your kingdom with all your heart and with your own free will but if you don't that will happen to you number six strangulation the Aztecs were involved in Mafia activities before Mafias were even a thing, since strangulation was a more discreet form of execution used for crimes like treason or serious disloyalty to the Emperor. Unlike public execution, strangulation was often carried out in secret to avoid political fallout or public unrest, where the convicted would be tied up and strangled with a rope in a private setting, ensuring a painful death without public spectacle. The reason these guys got a special type of execution is because it was a method reserved for high-profile individuals whose removal was necessary for maintaining order without attracting unwanted attention. Number 5. Death by Drowning While commoners could drink during certain festivals, nobles and priests were held to higher moral standards, and drunkenness among them was a grave offense. If found intoxicated, particularly in sacred places or during important ceremonies, the individual was then restrained and held underwater until they drowned. It was often performed in a sacred body of water since this method was symbolic of their moral failure and corruption of their elevated social status, and it reinforced the expectations that were placed on the elite. Hey there, chief. Hiccup. Are you drunk? No. Hiccup. Then walk the white line. Okay. Blah 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 I'm drowning. Number 4. Death by Arrows hey, This God. punishment was more like a fun get-together for the boys, you know, where they could slam back a few brewskis and impale a man that was tied to a stake with their arrows. Those convicted of theft, treason, or other serious offenses were sometimes tied to a stake and then archers shot arrows into them, aiming for vital organs until they died. But if you really did an oopsie whoopsie, then the execution could be prolonged by hitting non-lethal areas first. This method of being shot with arrows was often part of sacrificial ceremonies, since it was seen as both a physical and spiritual condemnation, as it mimicked a dishonorable death in battle. Number 3. Stoning 
This punishment was fun for the whole community where they could get some patties on the grill and hug 90s at a woman's face until she died. Stoning was the punishment for crimes like adultery, particularly when committed by a married woman, and for acts of treason too. The convicted were often buried up to the waist or tied and were pelted with stones by the community until they died from blunt force trauma. It was a slow and painful death as you could probably imagine, and it served as a powerful deterrent for anyone thinking about selling out their kingdom or for those that wanted to cheat on their partners. I wonder if it was like a carnival game for them. Number 2. Death by Fire As we all know, dying to fire kinda sucks ass, and this punishment was acquired by doing crimes seen as severe religious offenses, particularly blasphemy or desecration of temples where the criminal would get the Joan of Arc special getting tied to a stake and then being burnt alive, suffering intense pain until they died from burns or breathing in smoke. This punishment was meant to serve as a way to purify their souls before death. The act of burning was often seen as a final offering to the gods ensuring that the criminal paid for their offenses both in this life and in the afterlife. Number 1. Death by Sacrifice Of course this punishment was going to be up here, it's like their main thing. Criminals who committed serious religious offenses such as adultery, theft of sacred items, or defiling temples were often sentenced to death by sacrifice, a practice central to Aztec religion. The most common form involved the convicted being brought to a temple, restrained and having their heart cut out while they were still alive where the heart was then offered to the gods in a public ritual, often on a ceremonial altar. The punishment was viewed as essential to appease the gods and maintain cosmic balance, showing off how much the Aztecs loved their gods. Even though the Aztecs were nearly wiped off the face of the planet by the Spaniards, I learned that they were never truly the victims, it was whoever was convicted of a crime that was truly the victim. Anyway, thank you all for watching, please like and subscribe Poppy and I will see you in another episode.